Hello beautiful people and welcome to video number two. So this is a small haul video. I'll be showing a few items that I got from AliExpress and I'll be reviewing them for you. So the first thing I got were these uh, ceramic e-file bits. I have four of them. I have two cone bits, a uh, fine grit and an extra fine grit. And then I have two safety bits, a medium grit and a fine grit. I have to say that I was really pleased with the way these performed. Now I should mention that before getting these bits I had only been working with sanding mens, so that is really the only reference I have to compare these two and compare to sanding bands. These bits remove product a lot easier. So um, for the price that I paid for them I'm really happy that I got them. The second thing that I got was this set of 12 solid painting nail gels. The set came with the brush I'm showing you now. I didn't particularly like this brush for applying these gels, but I have since used it to apply builder gel for example, and that went really well. So the first color is a black. About these gels, um, I got them from a brand called Azure, but um, if I'm not mistaken, it's like a, a daughter brand from Model Ones. So you probably have seen these gels uh, in videos from other YouTubers. The great thing about these gels is, like the name says, they're solid. So they're not runny, they won't move from where you put them, your jars won't leak, which is a fantastic advantage for gel. So this is a second coat of the black. I will be giving each color two coats. And guys, I'm sorry for my camera being out of focus so many times. I don't know what was wrong with it. Um, but... I'm assuming that you can still see what I'm doing, so I left the footage in. Right, the second color is white. You will see that I'm trying another brush here, which I didn't like either. So later on you'll see I switched over to yet another one, and I think that that was the one that I stuck with. So when editing this footage, I noticed that apparently I forgot to press record when I was applying the second coat of the white, but I did actually apply a second coat of it. Okay, color number three is a red. I really like this red. It wasn't too light. It wasn't too dark. It didn't have pink undertones. It was just a good red. So these gels apply a lot different from, for example, a gel polish. So it took a bit of getting used to, but once I did, I really liked working with them. I did notice that the consistency of the different colors vary just like the tiniest bit. Some of them were just a little bit softer and others of them were a little bit firmer. Color number four is this beautiful pink. Pink is my favorite color ever. I mean, I love every shade of pink. And maybe that's not a big surprise to you guys, judging by the nails I have on myself in this video. I recorded this video at the beginning of October though, so I don't have these nails on anymore. I have more autumn colors on at the moment. Wow, you guys. Okay, short story time. I think I am one of the clumsiest people on the planet. So obviously I also bump my nails a lot. Ooh, before continuing the story, first color number five, which is a gorgeous royal blue. I have wanted a shade of blue like this for a very long time. I have different shades of blue, but nothing like this. This blue is absolutely stunning. A great color for winter too, I think. Okay, continuing the story. So even though I knock my nails a lot, they usually hold up really well. 
but the set that I have on right now, I don't know what I did to it, but it looks absolutely battered. It looks like I've gone to war with it. Ooh, color number six is this really pretty light blue. I am going to give this one two coats as well. So back to the story, I had this huge crack along my middle fingernail. And as I am recording this voiceover, I was fidgeting with it because, you know, that's what I do. I'm a fidgeter. And what do you know? It broke. But it broke like right behind the hypernicium, so where my skin was still attached to the nail. So, owie, that really hurts. Right, color number seven is a nice light gray. I used to not like neutral colors like gray or brown or beige or a nude, but now I really do. I find myself wanting to use only those kind of shades or tones uh, this fall season. So about my finger, it's bleeding and it's throbbing and it doesn't look pretty, but I think I should let the skin heal a bit before I try to fix the extension. So yay, I'll be walking around with this stumpy nail. Oh well, I might just change all my nails next week. Alright, color number 8 is a nice nude. And look at when I'm sticking my brush in the gel. You will see what I meant when I said some of them are firmer than others. And like I said, really liking this color for this fall season. And not just for fall, I mean, I like to use uh, bright colors in spring and summer on myself. But these neutral colors actually work all year round. I really love those neutral colors with a matte top coat as well. Imagine this nude with a matte top coat and some bling and then a full bling nail as an accent nail. I think that will be gorgeous. Okay, color number nine is... Uh, how to describe this? It's like a maroon color or a burgundy on the pink side. This is actually one of my favorite colors in this set. Also a Perfect color for fall and winter. I'm really hoping these gels will work well to paint with because I'm going to do a set next week with some hand painted characters in it, and I would really like to use these gels for that. I'll also be filming that design so you guys will definitely know if I was able to do the painting with these gels. Okay, only three more colors to go. Color number 10 is a dark purple. It looks kind of blue in the pot, but when I'm applying it, you will definitely see that it's purple. Again, a very nice color for fall or winter. This color was a little bit sheer though. I mean, a lot of the colors you could have gotten away with applying just one coat, but this one definitely needed a second coat. Okay, color number 11 is a uh, silver. A very nice silver in my opinion. The flecks of silver in it are super, super tiny and it applies really nicely. It's really smooth. 
also quite sheer in one coat so definitely needs two coats unless you're going for a sheer look of course i think a silver is perfect for winter nails but of course you can also use this all year round i think it might also have a very cool effect when top coated matte and then the last color number 12 is a gold um, I have to say that this is probably my least favorite color of the set and not because of the color itself because I think it's a nice gold but because of the way that it applies you can tell when I'm applying it that it's not the same as the silver the gold particles in it are glitter but they're not very fine so it makes this one very grainy to apply, which means you can't really get a smooth surface. So the surface is kind of bumpy and also I think it makes the nail very bulky. So that was all of them. I went ahead and top coated them off camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you want to get notified next time I upload. Until the next one, bye guys! Mwah!